This episode of The Drive is brought to you by Conquest Sense. These big bucks were all taken with Evercom, the first calming scent. Evercom is made up of real smells from bedding areas, which deer associate with safety. Evercom comes in a stick form, so it won't wash away or freeze. Rub it on your boots, trees, even a decoy. It reassures nervous deer and even covers up a hunter's mistake. Get more shots with Evercom from Conquest Sense, the family deer farm. Guys, before we go any further, let's throw some Conquest Evercom scent on. Good idea. We don't want to be stinking up our wood. The thing I like about Conquest scents is it's an encapsulated deer scent. It lasts from season to season. It doesn't go bad. It doesn't never smells never smells old or stale. You know, the thing I like best about Evercom is that no matter what part of the season you're in, it completely relaxes the deer. And during the rut, the bucks get fired up as soon as they catch wind of it. It's just a great all-around scent. Yep. It's good stuff. Now let's go check those coverts. So I went down to Jersey to um, film Mike and Rudy for that turkey hunt, mm -hmm. and uh, we get down there. I went down the, the night before, and Mike and I are driving around. You should see all the birds out there. You guys saw the footage, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, oh yeah, big old strutter. There's Jake in front.
had that jeep. Oh, oh yeah, look at the rope on that bird, look at the rope on that bird. No, that was out in the field. The field. Okay. Yeah, that was Rudy's bird. And uh, so then we do, you know, we do the... the <laughs> mosquito? Bug. A bug? Yeah. So, so uh, we get Rudy's bird and then um, we we had seen, when we were scouting the day before, we saw a couple of jakes in another field. So Mike wanted to go back there and there was a lone bird there when we were driving the one morning, that morning. Came back, got in, didn't hear anything. All of a sudden, it Get past these trees. I got him. I hope you. 
hope you got it. That gun out like this, sitting uh, on my legs. <laughs> he got some on. <laughs> there you go. He got a nice beard too. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that when he hammered dirty. behind us, I was like, eh, eh. Phil was moving real slow with the I camera. Just tried to, I just wanted. I said, if you're gonna move, just move. I just wanted to get him pick his head up so he could see over and look, you know, look that yeah. way and see the decoy. That's why I was just doing light turns and, and a couple clips. Look, when when you started calling, I saw I was calling to get his head up. But when you did that, he would went right behind a tree, and then you did it. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh, steps. yeah, I was like, please. <laughs> Well, we're in New Jersey. Had a good hunt this morning. It was um, it was a good hunt because the birds worked. You know, it wasn't uh, by chance stuff happened. We kind of make made stuff happen. Um, my last uh, my bird. It uh, was kind of funny. Rudy took lead on calling, and uh, we saw a bird cross the field. And we'd get it, given it about 15 minutes. We went down in and. Uh, we gave a few calls and cut real hard and nothing. And, you know, Rudy says, uh, I better give it one more time. And I said, yeah, you better. I said, because he's probably running right now coming to us. <laughs> he gave it one more call. Sure enough, we'd get a gobble. And the next time it gobbled, directly behind us from where we were set up. So it uh, came in from the field. Luckily, we were, we were kind of in the shadows inside the woods. He worked inside. DSD decoys, I can't say anything bad about them i'll tell you what uh this morning's hunt and this afternoon if it wouldn't have been for the dsds and then focusing on it it really took uh took the focus off of us we were i mean there's three of us you filming me shooting and uh rudy shooting and me calling and you filming but three of us so it uh it definitely worked even on rudy's first setup but uh rudy can tell you his hunt it was a good one yeah, it was a good hunt uh, all the birds were bottled up in the corner of the field and um, Mike said, let's sneak around to the back side. We got to the back side of the field. We walked up the edge, set up. Sure enough, he made a couple calls. Quiet, they come in, they started running. As soon as they seen them DSD decoy, they started hammering, and they come running right in. Um, both hunts were successful, it was a good time. Uh, made new friends, man. Couldn't ask for a better opening, opening day here in New Jersey. No doubt. Uh, cool. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, it was good footage. Awesome day too. Yeah. You know, two turkeys, amazing. Double. Yeah. You gonna film those guys again this year? Yeah, I'm actually um, filming Rudy um, September 1st for goose hunt. Nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work out, but supposedly he gets a lot of birds out there. He's got a whole outfit with the, the decoys. He's got like 250 decoys in a trailer and stuff. So I know he can call and. Uh, Stop. 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 Stop.